Well, we're continuing our adventures up here in Scotland. And today we are to visit and photograph uh, Kilchurn Castle. So that's our intention today. I have to say, I was, I was hoping for a uh, perfectly still uh, lake water. I think that's the wish and desire of every um, photographer. And we haven't got that. Wow, there are some ripples, but we should be able to take those ripples away uh, with a longer exposure. There's no problem getting a longer exposure this, right this second, uh, we're about half an hour or so uh, before dawn. So there's no issue there. So yeah, the, as I said, the main focus is gonna be this rock, a couple of rocks in the water leading up to the castle, which is beautifully saddled behind that hill. And what we're hoping for is, is some uh, light that breaks through over this way where the sun's rising and maybe kiss just the top of those hills. So that's the, that's the general plan and we'll see how we go. So first of all, I'm just going to set up, I think in portrait orientation to start us off. And we're going to keep the castle central to our composition. It's given us around about a four minute uh, exposure at the moment. And of course, because this rock is so close to us, I'm just gonna have to um, focus stack. Now the water will be blurred out, so I don't need a I don't need a, um, a, a image in the middle ground, but what I do need to do is just gain focus on that rock. I'm going to switch the light off, of course, and uh, although you're on, it's just giving a slight glow across the scene with a four minute exposure focused on the rock and then I'll immediately do another one um, um, on the on the castle itself although that may need may not need another four minute exposure because um, I would have captured the clouds and they don't need to be absolutely pin sharp uh, because they're going to be blurred and moving um, so if I take a second image a, a faster shutter speed so I'll, I'll bump up the ISO and just capture the the castle itself, um, and that should be this. I'm just going to um, see if we can, while we're here, just very quickly run a uh, landscape version. And with that, I, with the sky brightening, I think we now need to just add in a soft grad again that's soft grad is designed so that I can darken that sky just a touch and that looks good Let's check the polarizer fully on is usually what I prefer and uh, 
Let's go with that. And then I'll do one fully on, and then I'll do one fully off. I'm going to focus on the rock, I'm going to focus on the castle, and that should give us... Now this is a shorter exposure of 10 seconds. Um, the longer exposure I don't think is adding too much to the composition because we haven't got a lot of contrast and definition in those clouds. So the longer exposure is just smearing them into a, into a mush. Uh, but I may do one for the water, we will see. But the water is actually quite nice at 10 seconds. But uh, yeah, no, the water's nice at 10 seconds. I could just, just try a little bit longer. And just do a 50 second exposure focused on the Okay, for this next shot, I'm just uh, just adjust this composition slightly. Yeah, so what I've got here is um, I've got 40 seconds just to take that reflection um, and the castle over a longer period, smooth out that water. And then I'll focus stack, focusing in on the rocks in the foreground and probably once again on the castle with a shorter exposure for that sky. And then I've got multiple options to, uh, to blend. What I'm hoping also is to use these reeds on the right hand side to help draw the eye into that composition. So we'll just, uh, as I said, I'll focus now down in on those rocks. You see we've got some lovely reflections in. Um, so I'm just gonna just step in just a touch, quite gingerly. I'll set that composition so that the, um, the horizon line is in the middle. We're gonna set that with a two second timer. I'm focused on the castle itself. There we go, and that's quite nice. I quite like that. Because I'm gonna just th throw a three stop on. Um, I, I probably won't have to lock the focus but I have just to be safe. So I suspect that the camera can see through this three stop. So I'll pop it on and it can just about, you can see that, you can see through. I would have been able to gain focus quite easily on that. Um, so at the moment I am uh, focused in on the castle itself. I'm going to go up to um, two minutes. I'm going to go up to F16. We know that castle is absolutely in focus. Step back gingerly, two minutes, F16.
turned out to be an absolutely gorgeous morning. Hurrah! There's a heavy bank of cloud off to the east. Just checking. Yep, that works. I'm going to focus in on the far bank. Neat and nasty panorama. Five seconds. Um, two second timer between each shot and I'm overlapping each shot by about 50%. I really do like the shape of that cloud. And the colors still in there just showing on this screen. Oh, it helps that I've got the soft grad on that darkens it slightly and I can still see some of that color. So I've lost count of the number of shots this uh, panorama is. Always do one more shot and you think you need. everybody thank you for joining me here at Kilchian Castle I think you'll agree it's an absolutely stunning location it's absolutely wonderful beautiful um, beautiful landscape and absolutely wonderful people I hope you've enjoyed this episode I've, en I've enjoyed uh, getting the camera out and, and photographing this beauty um, it, it's very difficult I think to take a bad shot because just just look at it you just point your camera at it and you shoot um, I don't know which is more impressive. I actually think, I think, I think the landscape, the mountains, are actually more impressive than the castle, which which nestles um, across the way. Um, the, the just landscape. Every time you you just turn around, you see something, and you, your jaw drops, and you can feel you catch your breath because it is so beautiful here. Um, um, so yeah, so. Um, Hey, thank you. Um, wherever you are, please look after yourself and your loved ones. And uh, until the next one, see ya.